Mike, Perk said at number two, the Rockets have to get it right. What is getting it right? What do you think? I'm with Perk. Jalen Green has to be the pick here for the Rockets. This guy has incredible upside, absolute springs in his legs. Athletically, think Zach Levine, okay? He's that type of head at the rim dunker. And then also had a little bit of Bradley Beal in his game in terms of his scoring package. And he came out at 18, 19 years old, and averaged 18 points a game playing with grown men in the G League bubble. I think he really impressed NBA executives with his play, and he has as high of an upside as anyone in this draft. And, and, and you said it, Mike. Jalen Green being with that Ignite program in a pandemic year, being in the bubble, playing on an NBA court with an NBA three-point line, with and against NBA-level players, gave uh, front offices a real chance to evaluate him Really at a higher level than even playing major college basketball, uh, I think Jalen Green is ready-made for the pro game. Perk, I know you agree with that. Uh, what are your thoughts? Oh, uh, You know, look, this kid is ready. And, and here it is. If you could play in the G League mentally, you could play in any league. It's one of the toughest leagues because not only are you battling opponents that are coming for you, but you're also battling your teammates who are trying to get ahead because everybody wants the same goal. When I look at Jalen Green, his versatility, his craftiness reminds me of Jalen Brown, the way that he's able to get out in the open floor and get out to get out in transition and finish at the basket. He is also a very, very underrated playmaker, and I think he fits well with this Rockets organization. And to me, they should not even hesitate to take this kid at number two. All right, we'll see if the Rockets do it. They do have three first round picks, and that's their first one, number two. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.